amazing when we first read them I have to say it was there uh, that the fear of God went through us because it's just so alien to us when we're dealing with sort of almost luxury products if you like um, for in, in day-to-day uh, cooking for us we, we cook with a lot of butter and cream and sugars and things like that and that was that is kind of how we've grown up cooking so kind of I can't imagine having to change recipes that they would have been cooking with so you can see the amount of ginger to nutmeg to cocoa powder. I actually thought it was quite nice because in this day and age, if you're going to do something chocolatey, it's, you know, chocolate through and through. But I just thought the little nod towards the chocolate was quite nice, actually. So I did a, a, a course, a, a catering course when I left school and um, watching his technique, how similar it was to my technique, he did things that I was taught that you don't do. And I found it interesting. The food side of it, from the history point of view, was, was good. Um, a lot of it I can't have because I'm a celiac. I can't have wheat, uh, wheat and barley rye and gluten and flour. But on the whole, I think it was a lovely social history demonstration and, and discussion and their information. How ingenious they were really, um, to find their way round things. I've had um, a couple of recipes at the moment using a lot of potato to make things like um, cakes and, and stuff like that. And they were ingenious. It's very similar to, to like the gnocchi and what was it, the trench risotto. cake and the risotto is today, really. Yeah, what surprised me was that they cook things like that during the First World War, then it seemed to be lost. And then, I know in the 50s and 60s, we were just learning about Italian food again. Everything was a sort of beige colour. Second of all, you know, the, the, there wasn't those sort of big hitting flavours. You know, it was quite bland. Um, and, and also the textures, as, as I started reading through, quite a lot of the textures were very samey, bulking, sort of stodgy, if you like, to, to, to do uh, what was needed, not, not to sort of appetise. It was to feed, and that's, that's very different from what we do, um, do today. It's very carbohydrate-based as well, so the potatoes and the rice were, uh, played a massive part that we kind of didn't I expect to realize I thought I thought maybe more vegetables and the veg um, and the dried fruits kind of came into a lot of it and um, it's kind of things that we didn't really expect so oh, still got the string attached I'll try and cook the trench cake <laughs> yeah uh, have a go at that because it was quite tasty not too sweet I thought it was lovely. Yeah. yeah I should try the risotto mm -hmm. Try yeah, doing that yeah. and I get the recipe. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think the gnocchi I've tried anyway. I've I've done uh, Italian cookery course. Um, it's very <laughs> fattening though. It's starch <laughs> upon starch, and it these is. days it's you've got to think about well health really, a healthy diet. Perhaps you can really. have a small portion and and and, oh. and have more sauce, more of the me. tomatoes. <laughs> well, I, I know me. <laughs> <laughs>